Hi there, I'm Saxon with Wild Oak Trail, and we're going to unbox the Mango Power E. As an authorized dealer, we're very grateful to have our very own system, and we're looking forward to seeing what all this power has to offer. Uh, just a couple quick notes. This has the capability of doing 3,000 watts of continuous use. On top of that, a 6,000 watt surge. It's a great battery size of 3,500 watts, and you can pair it with another Mango E to be able to get 240 split phase, which would give you an additional 3,500 watts of power. And you can add two additional batteries, giving you a max of 14,000 kilowatts. So let's jump on in. This is not sponsored by Leatherman, but if they ever want to, we're down. So we'll go ahead. This shipped very safe and secure. Was very impressed with the whole process. So while I say this, there are 16 ports on here, which is very nice. Lots of uh, versatility. They also sell a unit that you can make as a transfer switch as well. And so in the case of a power outage, you could just automatically flip over to that. Uh, we'll be making some other videos to discuss that in further. I see we've got a box within a box. So that allows you to know that it uh, ships very well. Just give this another little cut down here. So we have gotten rid of the first box. It was a very heavy duty box for shipping, which is exactly what you want when you are shipping something of this quality. Uh, as it says on the box, and we mentioned earlier that it does have uh, 3,500 kilowatts of a battery. What I did not mention is that it's actually by cattle. Uh, they're the same ones that are in Tesla batteries, Mercedes Benz, BMW. So they're very high, high efficient batteries. Uh, such to the point, that it does come with the unit itself with a five year comprehensive warranty and the batteries have 10 years. So you know that you've got a very great product. Uh, you get 6,000 charge cycles before it hits 70%. And that does not mean that it's useless after that. It just means that it would charge up to 70% of its capacity. You'll still have the same output. You would then be just reduced to 2,400 watts roughly instead of 3,500 watts, which is still more than most batteries. So this thing has a very good capability of outlasting ourselves uh, with regular, regular use. So we'll go ahead now and open up the contents. I will say what's nice too is it had really nice grab handles in here uh, on the exterior box as well. So it was very easy to lift with two people. Uh, with it being 100 pounds, you might want that uh, if you can lift it by yourself. But it made it just very, very easy to, uh, to maneuver around. All right, so we've got our, our bag of cables here right on the top. We've also, this is for our solar. Uh, we've got our solar cables here, our MC4 that connect. This is so that you can charge it at home. It's got, it's obviously its own unique charger that plugs into your wall outlet, your 120 at home. What's cool about this too, and we'll go over that in a little bit, it also comes with an app as well. And so that allows you to be able to uh, monitor everything with just the ease of uh, your phone. Comes with a quick uh, in installation guide of just how to use it right out of the box. Just gonna close this up here. Also comes with a nice guide of what your display is and uh, 
getting started just out of the box, which is nice because this is plug and play. Very impressed with the shipping. As you can see, they've got some nice foam all the way around here. Also has uh, reinforced sides on top of that uh, amazing <laughs> box it came in. And so I'm just gonna lift this out here. It is 100 pounds, as I'm sure you can tell by the way I pulled that out. Just gonna take off this plastic here. We've got it uh, backwards for you guys. So what's really nice is there's some really good grippy handles here. And it just feels nice when you go to lift it. It doesn't feel like you're gonna break it. On top of that, with it being heavy, you wanna be able to transport it nicely, especially on vacation or if you're going room to room. Very nice wheels. I'm sure you can see that down there. And just being able to pull it I've got a tighter hallway. I was able to maneuver it around. Carpet, hardwood, not a problem. And just goes right down just like that. All right, so we've got the unit out of the box now. And as I mentioned, it is a CATL battery. And I should also clarify that it's actually an LFP. And so it's a very high grade battery. And now it's very easy to turn on. We just hold that down for one second. It seems like it takes a, a few milliseconds to turn on. Not long at all though. And it has a very intuitive touch screen. And so we'll go ahead here and go over the ports. So we've got our 30 amp, which is great. This will plug into your RV, your backup, however you have that set up. We've got four 120 uh, AC outlets. So that's your standard uh, outlets. You can use your hair dryer, blender, multiple things at once, an air conditioner, like a window one. Very handy. We've got six quick charge 3.0, 24 watt uh, USB-A ports here. And very cool. We've got a 65 watt and a 100 watt USB-C supercharge. And so you'll be able to uh, have your MacBooks or uh, any other type of laptop plugged in there, no problem, or any other device that needs USB-C. And we've got one 12 amp, uh, 10 amp, or I should say 12 volt, 10 amp charge. This is what you use in your car, cigarette, uh, lighter. And then as we've also got two more DC outlets, a 12 volt at five amp. So what we're gonna do here is show you the screen. It came out of the box at 76%, which is great, uh, easy to use as soon as it comes out of the box. Right now, we've got no solar watts coming in or grid but we can clearly see what it is. Again, we can do this on an app. If you wanna turn on the AC, because that does use a bit of wattage, I like that you get to control when it's on and off. I don't know if you heard that click, but it means that we can now be running a load with our AC. If we go ahead and turn that off. We've got here, it shows us uh, when it would be charging and Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and if other systems are connected. Uh, what's really neat is there's actually a backup mode and it says please connect to the AC and so this can run as a UPS which is uh, very very good for for uh, a power outage you can put all your your major things like a CPAP machine uh, your fridge something that is crucial uh, such as a computer for work so that if it ever uh, your power goes out you don't have to worry this thing will kick on right away uh, it, here in the settings, we've got two things. There is a quick charge option. The charger that it comes with is at uh, 15 amps. You can buy separately a 30 amp one. It will gauge between 1500 watts and 1800 watts with the charger that it comes with. And if you did need that supercharge, then there's an additional plug that you can buy. Uh, when it comes to the backup battery, you can also choose that if it's going to stop uh, working at 85%, 90% or 95% which is very handy. So I'm gonna leave mine at uh, 85%. And then we can also turn on our DC load as well. So that's how we turn 
these on uh, these ports here. So one other thing that I find really unique, we've all seen ports on the side before. My wife's just gonna pan over here. So we've got our solar input, we've got our grid AC, that's how you make it. Uh, either charge it with the AC or make it your backup power. This is where you would put your additional battery. And then this one is where you can hook up two Mango E's to get the split phase 240 volts. But what I think is really handy, just uh, to make it quick, we've got a white dot here. There's a couple pins. And when I tried it on off camera, I found it a little hard to put in. I wasn't understanding why it wasn't going in. Then I saw some numbers here. You'll see one, two, three, and that's when it caught my eye and I saw a white dot. So they have uh, us people in mind where you just connect the white dot to the white dot. And I really like this. You actually screw it on. And so you know you've got a really good connection and you can't just walk by and pull it out. So really well thought out. And uh, so far, very, very impressed with the setup, especially for 3,500 watts of battery storage in here. We have some other great units that we sell, but they're just not quite as compact as this or feel as compact. So I've got to say that uh, Mango Power has done a great job of putting in power with power capability uh, for battery storage and mobility. So now what we're going to go do is actually plug this into the wall so you can see it charge. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I love how high this is. Um, other units, you know, they work well, but I, it's just such an easy height to pull this up. And I am uh, almost six feet tall and I'm easily able to just not have to bend over to hold this. And so here we go. We pull this. We've got the charger here. I've already plugged in just the, um, what do you call it? Uh, the AC adapter into the wall. Just gonna bring it in over here. match up this white with white, which I still find just very nice engineering that way. I've plugged it in and let's see. I think I hear it going. Touch the screen and you can already see it says grid right there and it's slowly working its way up. We got 424 watts coming in right now. As you can see, it's under 500 watts coming in. That's actually the default mode. If we go here and click on the quick charge, it will ramp up between 1500 and 1800 watts. And we can see it uh, rising now. And then if we have the 30 amp plug, which we don't have, that would give it 3000 watts an hour. Uh, something to note as well is that the, it's very quiet. And so the decibels are at 40 decibels with, a, with no load and only 51 decibels with a full load. That's the equivalent of a high-end dishwasher. And right now we have fans on because it is uh, bringing in 1400 watts and you can barely, barely hear it. I don't know if my mic is even picking it up right now. And so you can change between uh, the 500 watts or clicking the, the quick charge where it should range between 1500 and 1800 as it pulsates through. All right, that brings us to the end of the unboxing and quick overview. One thing that I need to mention is because it is a solar generator is that it has a 2000 watt charge controller and that your panels can be between 60 and 150 volts and 20 amps. Uh, we hope that if you have any questions that you'll give us a call at 1-844-945-3625. We're also available at wildoaktrail.com by chat and you can always email us at customer support at wildoaktrail.com. Thank you very much for joining us and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.